<laughs> so hello guys what's up and welcome back to my youtube channel <laughs> it's me your girl barista Nezepeperepe, and this is Nezepeperepe. <laughs> welcome back to another video guys i hope you guys are happy seeing my pregnant face <laughs> for those that say i didn't change in pregnancy can you still say the same we are getting there don't worry Anyways, guys, I'm going to be taking the old wife prediction to ascertain the gender of my baby. Without me telling you guys, you guys already know that I am anxious to know. Yes, we have decided that whatever God gives us, we are blessed, we are happy, yeah? But I am anxious to know. Let me know. Let me just accept whatever I, I want to know. <laughs> Tell me. What is it? <laughs> the baby has not cooperated. In that the baby is, you know, in a position where we can't see or the other time I went, it was too small. So we still don't know. So in today's video, I'm going to be taking the prediction test. And so many people swear by this test, just like horoscope, which I kind of believe in because horoscope works for me. I'm a Virgo and a lot of Virgo tendencies relate to me. So I kind of believe in horoscope. Some people swear by this test that they have taken it and it was accurate for them if you have had a baby and you took this gender prediction old wife's test do let me know in the comment section did it work for you was it accurate for you or was it a mismatch so in today's video if this old wife's prediction test is anything to go by at the end of this video you and i will be knowing the gender of our baby <laughs> so without further talk, talk let us dive right into this The first one says, so I'm going to be recording the scores here somewhere on the screen, maybe boy here, girl here or whatever. So the first one says, if you have experienced, if you experienced high HCG level, you are having a girl that's extreme morning sickness. Yes, I experienced extreme morning sickness and according to this prediction, that's a girl. The next one, if you have serious mood swings, you are having a girl. Um, in this pregnancy, I've not experienced mood swings at all. I've been able to manage my moods. So according to this prediction, I am having a boy. Okay, the third one says, if you are carrying your baby high, it's a girl. But if you are carrying your baby low, it's a boy. Well, I don't know. I can't my tummy. I think this is low. What do you guys think? I don't know. I think this is low. I think this is low. So according to this prediction, I am having a boy. Two one. <laughs> Jesus. Okay. The next one says, if you have sugar cravings, you're having a girl. But if you have salty or sour cravings, you're having a boy. I've been having sugary cravings, cakes, parfait, and all of that. So according to this test, I am having a girl. The next one says, if you are craving proteins like meat and cheese, you are having a boy. I don't have any cravings for proteins. I can eat meat, but it's not like I crave for it. So according to this test, I am having a girl. The next one says, if you have hair on your legs, like the hair on your legs has grown faster during pregnancy, you are having a boy. And yes, <laughs> I have turned to a mini chimpanzee in this pregnancy. Like I will shave my legs today and the next day <laughs> you are looking like... <laughs> They are looking like tropical rainforest, bushy and hairy again. So according to this prediction, I am having a boy. The next one says, if pregnancy has you looking better than ever, you are having a boy. Well, I'm not saying I'm the prettiest I can ever be right now, but you know that pregnancy wowness, that ugliness that comes with pregnancy, I'm not experiencing it. Pregnancy maybe has changed me, but I'm not pregnancy horror. Like, I'm not pregnancy ugly. Like, if you see me, my nose is like this. My face is swollen. No, I'm not looking that way. So, this pregnancy has not made me ugly. So, according to this prediction, I am having a boy. The next one says, if you're carrying the weight, your pregnancy weight on your hips or your buttocks or your face, then it's a girl. But if you're carrying the weight on your stomach only, then it's a boy. Okay, this pregnancy has not been fair to me when it comes to proportion. <laughs> it has been disproportionate. It has taught me to Johnny Bravo, <laughs> Hercules. <laughs> of all the places the fat is supposed to go to, it didn't go to my, you know, essentials. I think it's more my stomach, oh, from what I can see. I don't think it's going to my hips and my butts as much as it's going to my stomach. So, according to this prediction, I am having 
Oh boy. Craving fruits. If you crave fruits, you're having a girl. But if you do not crave fruits, you're having a boy. I do not crave fruits. Fruits is a challenge for me to eat now. So, according to this one, I'm having a boy. Boy is really though. Boy! Boy has won! Wait, 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 wait. I don't know. Just wait. Calm, calm your nerves. Let us get to the end now. Have a. Okay, so the next one says, if your belly looks like a watermelon, I guess round in shape, you're having a girl, but if your stomach is shaped like a baseball, you're having a boy. <laughs> Guys, my stomach <laughs> is not so round. It has this purple, purple shape. <laughs> it is shaped like a baseball. Look at this. So according to this prediction, I am having a boy. If you were under a lot of stress when you conceived, it's a girl. But if you were chilled and without so much stress, it's a boy. Okay, why didn't you guys tell me this one since? Hmm? As me, you guys are giving me this expo. If it's for me to go and start carrying block, I'll go and join block industry and start molding block for people that are building house. Or if it's for me to start climbing mountains, increase my stress level, I would have done it now. What is there? Eh? You didn't tell me this one, though. I was that relaxing and I was oh my god, no. Okay. Anyways, <laughs> it has been done. Let us just go ahead. So it's saying that if my stress levels were high before I conceived, it's a uh, girl. And no. My stress levels were normal. They were not high. So according to this prediction, I am having a boy. <laughs> if your appetite is big, you have a big appetite and you are eating more during pregnancy, it's a boy. Yes. But this one is supposed to be general now. Every pregnant woman eats more now. How about what is setting me up? Anyways, yes, I'm eating more in this pregnancy. Just as I ate more during my first three boys. So according to this one, it's a boy. If you have darker nipples, it means you are having a boy. <laughs> I people want me to tell you the status of somebody's property. Now. What is the meaning of this? Eh, just record it anywhere first. If you are more forgetful, you are having a girl. Am I more forgetful? I think my memory is just the way it was before pregnancy, so I'm not more forgetful. So according to this test, again, I am having a baby boy. <laughs> Hey, hello! <laughs> okay, let's go to number 15. If daddy is gaining weight, it's a girl. But if daddy's weight is just the same, it's a boy. Okay, I, I, my husband needs to clap this girl. Baby, where are you? <laughs> Baby, come and check your weight, too. <laughs> come and check your weight. <laughs> the next one, if you're having breakouts and acne, you are having a girl, but if you are not having, you are having a boy. You guys, look at my face. I don't have any acne or breakouts. There are some pregnant women that are all over their chest, their back, their face is full of pimples, but no, I'm not having any of that. In fact, I used to have more pimples when I was not pregnant. So, once again, according to this test, I am having a bouncing baby boy. If you were the more aggressive partner during lovemaking when you conceived, you are having a boy. Uh -uh. <laughs> Make love, not war now. Is this a warfare? <laughs> what is going on here? Please. <laughs> I'm the daughter of Zion. This question is not for me. I am an anointed daughter of Zion. Please, just skip this question. <laughs> if your previous child's first word was dada, you are having a boy. Come on. Uh, no. These, these people are cheating. I know go agree. These people are cheating. Every child's first word is dada because dada is an easier word to pronounce than mama. My first three sons, my first three children all said dada first before mama. What was that? These people are cheating. Hmm? What is the meaning of this? So according to this one again, it's a boy because my last child called dada first. Boy again. If your baby's heartbeat is lower than 140 beats per minute, it is a boy. Okay, I'm not taking note of that. I don't know that my baby's heart beat. Maybe when, I, when next I go to the hospital, I will count and check. So, I don't know about that one. And if you're having cold feet, if you have cold feet, not like a figurative cold feet, or like literally your feet is cold. If you have cold feet, then it is a boy. Wait, let me check my feet. It's not cold. It's warm. It's a girl. <laughs> So guys, look 
at the scores and from this old wife's gender prediction, I will be having another boy. <laughs> at least if this prediction is anything to go by, I'll be having another boy. <laughs> oh my god! Let me know what you think about this in the comment section. Just as I asked at the beginning of this video, did you take this test? Was it accurate? Did it work for you? Or is it just a superstition? Let me know what you think about this in the comment section. So guys, I will be having another boy according to the old wife's prediction. Let us wait and see what science itself and scan itself and radiology itself has to say what I has to say otherwise. I can't wait. Thank you so much guys for watching. Do give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Drop your comments, your reaction, your feedback. Write in the comment section and stay glued for more. It's me, your girl, Barista Neze. Neze mwa. Neze pepe repe. And this is Neze pepe repe. I'll see you guys in my next one for now. Bye.